This Motivating Undergraduates in Science and Technology Project Spotlight is brought to you in part by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the Hispanic College Fund, the United Negro College Fund Special Programs Corporation, and the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. To achieve NASA's strategic goals to inspire, engage, educate, and employ, MUST provides renewable scholarships, mentorship, and a summer experience at a NASA center. In an effort to align with NASA's education strategic framework, MUST is dedicated to the contribution and development of the STEM workforce. I'm Brandi Proctor. I'm here to give you a little insight on the MUST program. MUST stands for Motivating Undergraduates in Science and Technology. As one of NASA's premier education programs, it's designed to inspire students and produce the workforce of tomorrow to help expand NASA's vision of going to the moon and beyond. We thought you might like to know what life as a MUST scholar is really like. So let's go talk to some folks who know firsthand. Kevin Johnson is a junior at Rice University, majoring in mechanical engineering and bioengineering. As a second year MUST scholar, he has completed his summer research experiences at Johnson Space Center. Tell me what a typical day at NASA is like. Well, a typical day at Johnson Space Center, uh, check in about 8 o'clock, um, talk to my mentor, check on the progress of some of the projects we were working on. Um, go to my office, you know, check my email, and um, attend meetings, uh, try to work in between, and really it was just trying to keep up with some of the deadlines that they set. The project that I had was uh, something that was due during the summer, not really ongoing. So I really had to manage my time well and make sure everything was progressing smoothly. So this was actually your second year in the MUST program. Uh, no, this is actually my third tour uh, this last summer at JSC. I did one with the SHARP program and that was my second year in the MUST program. And it's great that it's renewable so that, um, you know, every year you just go through the reapplication process and get right back into it. Um, working at JSC for three years in a row, I really got familiar with, like, the culture and a lot of different people, a lot of great contacts. So it's, uh, it's really good. I might try a new center next time, but I think that's a really great aspect of the program. As a graduating senior, Brittany Sims is anxious to receive her degree in electrical and computer engineering from Morgan State University. Brittany's 10-week research experience as a MUST scholar at Kennedy Space Center turned into far more than what she bargained for. How did you utilize the MUST professional academic support system? Well, towards the end of my NASA MUST research um, experience, I was offered a position at the Kennedy Space Center Co-op Program. Um, with this, I was really excited and enthused, and I wanted to be completely prepared. So I seek the MUST pass and guidance on making my decision or whether or not to accept the offer. Um, they were so very supportive in me accepting the offer, even though I was going to be postponing graduation um, back a semester. Um, in addition to that, they answered any questions that I had in regards to transitioning from a MUST scholar to a co-op. So they were very supportive and they really helped me with making my decision. As a second year MUST scholar, Erica Fernia is a senior studying aerospace engineering at Texas A&M University. The MUST project provides students with an actual NASA employee as a mentor. All the coefficients are always non damaged How was having a NASA mentor, how did that enhance your summer experience? Coming from, you know, a bright class at a and you know, aerospace engineering student, um, I was afraid that meeting, you know, a NASA scientist, meeting my boss in general would be, would, would look down upon me because I'm the intern and I would think they'd be just amazingly smart, which they are, but they're really down to earth people and I mean, they're human beings and, um, I learned so much just from being an intern, and they learned so much from me in return on how to, you know, communicate to the younger crowd. Nathan Condy, a transfer student from San Jacinto College, is now a junior majoring in mechanical engineering at Texas A&M. With two years of research at Johnson under his belt, Condy has been exposed to various challenges at NASA. 
What was the most challenging thing about your summer experience? Project management was the toughest aspect of my summer internship. You have 10 weeks to complete a lot of work and make the deadlines that are given to you. What was tough about completing your deadline, though? Did you finish? No, unfortunately I did not. I was uh, very close to the deadline, but unfortunately this tropical storm struck within that last time frame to complete it and it didn't make it. Would you change anything? Absolutely not. I have no regrets. I loved every bit of it. I can't wait for next summer's internship. Each MUST scholar gets a NASA mentor to learn from and work with on an assigned project during his or her 10-week research experience. So what do their mentors have to say? I'm Dan Mulligan. I'm a risk manager here at Johnson Space Center. Um, I mentored uh, Erica Fernia with her assignment on the EVA systems project, which is the uh, new design effort for the spacesuit, uh, the return to lunar spacesuit. So how has Erica changed as a result of the MUST experience? Well, she came in with a lot of um, engineering talent, a, a lot of capabilities for doing design things, but that's not what we capitalized on. We pushed her out of the comfort zone and into uh, a lot of areas that are the intangible part of a design project. Um, not technical work, per se, um, but the project planning, monitoring, control, all the, the kind of things that keep the wheels moving. Um, it really broadened the exposure to lots of facets of design work that don't normally get introduced in the classroom or in engineering textbooks. Um, with that, I, I think she um, picked up really quickly on all of the intricacies of, of how complex the organization here is, uh, at NASA is and, um, and was able to, to work her way through that maze very well. Um, when she came out the end, uh, at the end of the summer, she uh, really had a, a good understanding of uh, all of the intricacies of the space program, not just engineering work, but um, how all of the pieces of, of uh, space mission design work together. So tell me about yourself. My name is Veronica Salcedo, and I manage the ITA system, and I had the opportunity to mentor Kevin Johnson this summer. What do you think of summer opportunities like MUST, and um, how do they help prepare students for careers in STEM-related fields? I'm, I'm familiar with the MUST program um, because of Kevin, mm -hmm. but I could relate to Kevin and his experience because as an undergraduate, I was able to participate in a similar uh, program, and I felt it helped prepare me for my challenges that I face today, and I wanted to make sure that I enriched Kevin's experience as much as I could, and uh, we had a great time working with Kevin. I'm Damon Wilson. I'm the branch chief of the mock-up fabrication and test branch here at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. My intern for the summer was Nathan Cundy, who worked in the mock-up and fabrication section of my branch. You have a big impact on students as a mentor, but what kind of an impact would you say that Nathan had on you? Well, Nathan was a very interesting student. Uh, initially, when he arrived, he, was, uh, he wasn't sure what we were, job we were going to give him. So we gave him two jobs for the summer. One was to, uh, to get up to speed on uh, LAMPI, which was a software he was totally unfamiliar with. And Nathan did a wonderful job. He, he learned how to use the tool. He generated products out of the tools. And he did it in a very short period of time. The second job we gave him was to we wanted to build some legs for a mock-up to simulate a lander vehicle that would take him to Mars. And this job was pretty quite in intensive, and uh, Nathan really didn't have enough time to complete that job. But he was so uh, focused on completing it that after he returned to school, he uh, continued to do the work and provided us the end product even after his internship was over with. He did an outstanding job. I was very, very, very pleased with the effort Nathan gave us. As you can see, MUST is a great program. But don't take it from me. Go online, sign up, become a MUST scholar. By offering real-world experiences, renewable scholarships, NASA mentors, and the MUST Pass, the MUST Project seeks to educate and prepare the workforce of tomorrow, our STEM champions.